Yes. Hello once again. Um, <laughs> I haven't done any videos for a while, you know, and uh, I was thinking I would like to say something about the recent events in America. You know what I'm talking about, of course. Yeah, once again, another tragic incident. Of course, uh, police violence has always been a problem over there. Um, perhaps more so than in any other really civilized country. Because of these other countries where you get that kind of problems are uh, mostly in Africa or South America and which are third world countries or second, yeah, anyway, <laughs> whatever. Um, I was just thinking about what South Africa is qualified as, but anyway, um, yeah, it is a very, 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 uh, this episode was particularly shocking because the brutality was such of such uh, uh, of such nature that uh, which we have barely seen before actually even by American police and uh, of course uh, this will uh, have a hopefully uh, positive uh, also consequences because uh, it uh, it really kind of uh, sends a message that this cannot continue and this has really reached the boiling point, you know, and yeah, it just uh, can't be accepted, it's not acceptable, <sighs> yeah, and uh, yeah, of course, uh, Will Smith said that you, this, this is not, nothing new, it hasn't really gotten worse, it's just gotten, uh, it's, uh, f filmed now, it's now that they are actually start have started to film, to videotape this stuff, so, uh, yeah. You know, I don't live over there, and I'm really, uh, especially now, feel lucky because of that. Because something like that could never happen. I'm sure, I'm quite positive where I live. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, uh, this, this was a case of one guy, one individual, one really, really uh, nasty individual, uh, you know, victimizing an, a rather innocent man. I mean, uh, as, I, as far as I could understand, he was actually pulled over for uh, paying with a, you know, a counterfeit bill or yeah something like that so it wasn't like he was uh, it was not like he was pulled over for nothing of course but uh, uh, he was drunk of, of also but that of course is no excuse for uh, this guy's actions uh, this policeman um, whose name you all know, I don't have to name him by name, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, perhaps I should have put on a more uh, suitable shirt, but it's really hot over here, so forgive me if you, if uh, you find my, uh, 
attire not really proper or appropriate for this kind of video but yeah it's not it doesn't matter really what I'm wearing it matters what I'm saying of course anyway um, this has now resulted in more violence and more more rioting and looting and that's really kind of a uh, trigger effect I guess you can call it with which you get in countries like USA so um, violence breeds violence of course I think we all know that by now whether that is just like a re retribution I mean of course this a anger that these people feel I mean black people in mostly in general but also some others who are really sick sick and fed up with this stuff happening and it's all justified of course it's justified no doubt I mean come on yeah it's really that this stuff can still happen in 2020 it's really uh, amazing I mean it's it's really shocking and uh, depressing depressive depressing yeah uh, what else can I say I mean uh, yeah I mean uh, of course I've I've done videos in the past where I, I've kind of questioned or maybe not videos always funny where I kind of questioned you know the legitimacy in uh, some some of the cases uh, that have happened before you know like with Trayvon uh, Martin and uh, Michael Brown those cases were kind of you know had some they weren't so clear I mean uh, uh, you had the case in uh, but an anyway uh, I <laughs> I should not uh, digress now I'm having a little bit problem of finding the right words today anyway uh, but this case is really cl as clear as a day it's just pure uh, sheer hatred and uh, aggression and uh, yeah I mean uh, it's it is it it definitely was racially uh, inspired or charged because I don't think a cop uh, would u use that kind of force and violence against a, a non-black or a white person even I, I, I really sincerely doubt it I mean uh, because this guy wasn't really doing much <laughs> it's not like he was attacking the cop or the cops like Michael Brown did or Rodney allegedly Rodney King did and yeah so this this was just a really tragic case because the only thing uh, the man did he did actually sorry <laughs> use uh, false money try to pay with false money but uh, we don't know maybe, maybe he, he wasn't aware that it was false it was counterfeit and, uh, so uh, this uh, unfortunately will lead to even more uh, strained relations between which are already as strained as, as they can be between the police and the blacks in America and uh, yeah but I, I, I hope that people can after this has all, all of course it ha takes time to calm uh, that for things calm down and before they you know settle down again and when that has happened I hope that uh, there will be 
I, I know there will be a lot of dialogue between the police and of course I watched uh, the other night uh, Dave Batista had a, a live uh, chat on the Instagram with uh, two members of the police uh, force I don't know where where they are from but anyway uh, and uh, that one <laughs> one other guy who I don't really know I'm sorry he's a, he's a black guy tied to something so they you know they really did some good uh, you know good talking about this and, uh, that's really the key to the of course people are saying the other three cops should also be arrested and charged and maybe yeah maybe so probably i mean uh, uh any decent cop any decent cop should have uh, you know done something and not just stood there and watched you know as a man was being choked to death so uh, yeah i mean uh, Of course, not all cops are the same, but uh, this keeps happening over and over again. So it's definitely there is a problem that must be dealt with by those on on top, uh, the police chiefs, and you know, yeah. So hopefully that will be uh, done something amended in some way because if not it will just keep keep happening and you know and then who knows what can happen yeah so i think we are all now even those of us who did not believe that the matters are i mean that things are so bad over there we have no, all now have gotten an eye opener so thank you for uh, bye bye